This video is going to walk you through the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem and also a couple of examples where the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem is applied. So this theorem says that if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite those angles are congruent. So for example, we have triangle ABC and in triangle ABC we are shown that angle A and angle B are congruent. And so in that case, if angle A and angle B are congruent, we can show that the sides across from the angles are going to be congruent. So segment AC is congruent to segment BC. So it is just the reverse of the isosceles triangle theorem. Now, applying the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. So in example three, we have triangle GPS, and we see that angle G and angle S are congruent. So the fact that angle G and S are congruent tells us that the sides across from them, so segment GP and segment PS, those sides are going to be congruent, so segment GP is congruent to segment PS by the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. Now, in order to find the length of SP, because GP is 15, SP is also going to be 15 centimeters in length. Looking at example four, we have triangle TRY, where angle R and angle Y are congruent. So using the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem, we know that leg TR and leg TY are going to be congruent. So segment TR is congruent to segment TY by the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. So we can set up an equation where the length of TR, 70 inches, is equal to the length of TY, which is represented by the expression 3x minus 14. So if we add 14 to both sides, we have 84 equals 3x. And if we divide by 3, we find that the value of x is going to be 28. Now, in order to find the perimeter of triangle TRY, we need to know the length of all three sides. And so um, we can verify that segment TY is going to be 70 inches by substituting in. So 3 times 28 minus 14 turns out to be 70. And then if we substitute in to find the length of RY, 4 times 28 minus 15, we see that the length of RY turns out to be 97. So taking the lengths of the three sides, 70 plus 70 plus 97, the lengths of those three sides add together is 237. So the perimeter of triangle TRY is 237 inches. Now, I'd like you to go through and complete questions 7 through 8 in your notes packet and check your answers with the answer key online.